The next Halo Infinite flight date has been announced. And in this video, I'm going to break down everything that this flight brings to us, all the changes that have come from the previous flight, as well as how to jump in and play this early build of Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So the flight date has finally been confirmed for us guys and I want to give you everything you need to know when it comes to all the changes that are coming with this upcoming flight because this flight will be PvP focused with 4v4 Arena as well as BTB and bringing in some new maps and game modes as well. So if you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So let's not waste any more time guys. So when is this flight going to happen for the next time we get to play Halo Infinite? Well, it's gonna be arriving on the targeted date, I should say, emphasis on targeted on September 24th. The last date you can fully get registered as an insider to be invited to this is September 13th, which actually is the last day of the current ongoing flight for season eight of the MCC. 343 even provided this updated version of like a video of how to sign up for the insider program because the previous time before the last update was saying that there was over a hundred thousand people who improperly signed up for the insider program now a lot of this might seem kind of straightforward and obvious but a lot of people sometimes follow don't follow all the directions and so this step link will be in the description of this video guys to make sure that your insider profile is properly signed up for the halo insiders flight and make sure you have it all signed up ready to go for september 13th make sure if you updated your consoles like got in a new console or if you updated your pc recently to update your dx diag file as well so then you get a chance to jump in and play some awesome Halo Infinite greatness for us guys. I'm crazy excited as always. I'll be doing a tons of different videos and bits of content about this flight because this is going to be a very special one as it's going to be PvP focused where previously it was all just players versus bots. This one you actually get to play against players and there's going to be BTB involved with this as well. But a little bit more on top of that. Community Director Sketch actually tweeted out some extra details about this flight as well which is super interesting. Let us know initially what the idea of this is just to test out the surfaces and information structure of the game so to make sure everything works properly with the December release. Continuing on saying the bots will be back with some improvements, Academy will return some updates and the addition of training mode, and there will be a much bigger focus on P arena PvP this time, including a new map and some objective modes. BTP is also on the menu. So there are a lot of changes and fixes coming along with this update, guys, for the next flight. And I'm gonna go over everything. I did cover this in my previous video of the last week in Halo, guys. Wanna check that video out? The video is on the channel right here, but basically a quick rundown of all the new changes that are coming with Halo Infinite for this flight. Now the new changes that are coming with this flight is that we're gonna have an updated Needler, Plaza Pistol, and Gravity Hammer sound effects as well. The motion tracker returns for the radar. So then if you're moving at walking speed, you'll be showing up on the radar unlike previously for the flight where you only showed up if you shot or used your abilities in some kind of way. You'll be able to preview the voice of your AI companion as well for this flight. Spartan Chatter will have some adjustments so you'll be hearing over yonder a little less often as well. The new medals that we showcased in our previous video will be making a showcase within this next flight as well, guys. Improvements to the overshield and damage taken, like the shield flare has also been improved as well. Movement with five time scopes, especially with like the sniper rifle have been improved as well. So the sniper rifle will feel a little less clunky, a little bit more snappy. Hopefully, at least. Uh, the screen shake bug has been fixed, where if you disable screen shake in the menu during the flight, it actually didn't disable screen shake. That should be fixed by now. And the drop wall should be a little bit more effective as the deployment time has been decreased with it. So make sure you guys are signed up with the Insider Program. Make sure you get a chance to play some Halo. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because I definitely will be uploading a ton of content with the second flight to kind of test some things out and see while BTB finally plays out with 24 players in a lobby. Very exciting stuff. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.